Here's a Mach 3 that needs a recone. You can see there's lots of damage. The hole right there. Here's one that I've already reconed. You look closely down here, you can see where I had to splice the, the surround because Simply Speaker sent me the wrong one, but it was usable. There's the noose surround. There's the binding ring. Here's the inside of the Mach 3 cabinet. <coughs> you can see that the pins, there's a large spade and a small spade, so you can't reverse the polarity. And this speaker had a small length of wire for the yellow wire, so it's a little harder to disconnect. But here's what's inside here. Here's the crossover. Pretty easy to get at. A little round platter that holds the base of the mid-range and as you can see the tweeter just kind of hangs freely into the, the whole cabinet is there's plenty of air movement throughout the whole cabinet <coughs> so the Mach 1's don't have there's a little bit of fiberglass and of course here's the bad speaker At this point, I removed most of the surround, old surround from the speaker. And <clears throat> once that happens, the speaker is very delicate because the spider is the only thing that's holding <clears throat> the center of the speaker together. So this cone jiggles quite a bit. And only the spider is holding it. So you gotta be careful at this point. And then this, all this black has to be scraped away. As you can see, they originally threw the surround on, they kind of slap dashed it on there. You can see that it's not really, but it did work, I guess. I'm going to remove all the black original surround from the edge, like this stuff from the edge here, and all the underside of the cone has to be cleaned off. We're going to be gluing to the underside as the original was glued to the underside. <coughs> At this point, the basket is scraped clean. And I'll be flipping the speaker over and removing the, <coughs> the black from the back side of the cone. And the carpeting <coughs> and the comforter will help keep the cone in place while I remove the the black on the back side. <clears throat> what? As you can see, the, the cone is resting on the carpeting with the comforter on top. And that takes, <clears throat> as I as I remove this black stuff, it takes the pressure off the spider and puts it on the carpeting, so the spider is less less movement, which is what you want. And this is the worst part because <clears throat> these edges are real sharp. They're factory stamped, and they haven't been haven't been massaged or any way. So they're just a factory stamped edge. It's really sharp, so it's really hard to get the black off the cone.